No, I, I, I find this an, an unfortunate conversation. We have institutions in the Constitution that are meant to deal with such things. The president met IPOA. The question is, where was IPOA all this while? When extrajudicial killings were being uh, done, bodies were being dumped in rivers, and the fact that the bodies were dumped in River Yala, some people think that <coughs> it is the people of Yala who killed them. Those bodies perhaps were killed elsewhere and, and dumped there. We've got the ombudsman, ombudsman, who is a you know, commission on administrative justice. We're supposed to look at such issues, maladministration and uh, you know, uh, misapplication of the law. What space are we giving them? Why is it that now politicians have taken a partisan approach to this and they're the ones who are crying loudest and not allowing and empowering these constitutional bodies, okay. these institutions to do their job? It becomes extremely dangerous when the political class wants to use the criminal justice system to settle scores. And the question would be, this morning since 6, 7 a.m. that we've been talking about the criminal justice system, the DCI and the DPP, what does it mean to the ordinary Kenyan? That ordinary Kenyan has woken up not knowing where he's going to get their breakfast from. They've woken up not knowing where their child who's doing class six exams and class eight exams is going to go to, because they've got a government that is completely clueless. And it is because they have no ideas, what they want to do is to act like the wife of Lot, who instead of moving forward, kept looking back. And I can tell this government that they shall be turned into a pillar of salt, like it happened in the, in the Bible. We have had enough of Uhuru did this. We have had enough of the other government did this. We have had enough of Kinoti did this. Let's cast our eyes forward. Let's deal with these injustices because we've got institutions mm -hmm. that are mandated to do that. I power the Ombudsman, the Kenya National Commission on Human Rights, and the courts of law are still available to provide a recourse. Let this government tell us how they're going to fix the problem that is facing the Kenyan watching me right now. How he's going to pay his transport, how he's going to get his breakfast, okay. how he's going to make ends meet in this difficult economy. Thank you. No. <coughs> Thank I, you. I, 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 I think... <laughs> That's why we elected him yes, to office.